Hi everybody, my name is Mary and today I will be watching Blade Runner, the old one. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a first one until I did a poll on Patreon and apparently everybody was like, wait, but are you just gonna skip the first one? And I was like, oh, oops. <laughs> so we're gonna watch the 1982 version directed by Ridley Scott who directed Alien, The Martian and Gladiator. I have to say that Alien wasn't really my type of movie, but not because it was a bad movie, just because it's not really my genre, but I did love The Gladiator and Martian absolutely. So I'm excited for today. We also have a young Harrison Ford. Yeah, nobody can complain about that, I guess. So I'm really happy for this movie. I'm really excited. If you like reactions like these, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, if you want to see the full reaction, you can find that over on Patreon, where I post a full watch long style reactions for you to enjoy together with me. Let's go! Oh god. interesting retirement isn't that the whole thing that we always feel like what if the robots take over what 2019 it's funny to see how they think the future will be yeah they thought flying cars in 40 years <laughs> Doesn't look very cozy, does it? I answer as quickly as you can. Sure. It's not cozy conversation. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand when all of a sudden. Is this the test now? Yes. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand when all of a sudden you look. What desert? It doesn't make any difference. What desert is completely hypothetical. But how come I'd be there? Maybe you're fed up. Why am I there? <laughs> it's a test designed to provoke an emotional response. Describe in single words. And he doesn't get Only one. The good things that come into your mind about your mother. Let me tell you about my mother. What the f? So is that an emotional response that was invoked? I guess Leon's mother wasn't the best. <laughs> I love you. I know. Never forgive. Never forget. <laughs> Could you please translate? He say you brave runner. Tell him I'm eating. Would they need him or is he under arrest? He still has his noodles, so I guess he's fine. I always love when movies create their own worlds. Or like what they think our world will look like. <laughs> Are you dead? Oh, rude. Right. I've got four skin jobs walking the streets. Ooh, he needs to catch them. I don't work here anymore. Give it to Holden. It's not good enough. Stop right where you are. You know the score, pal. You're not cop, you're little people. Okay. No choice, pal. Well, you had an IQ test this year. Oh, I guess that means something really bad, little people. That's Leon. He can lift 400 pound atomic loads all day and night. <laughs> the only way you can hurt him is to kill him. What do they want out of the Tyrell Corporation? Well, you tell me, pal. That's what you're here for. Oh, he needs to figure that out as well. Ooh, tough job. Roy Batty, combat model. Optimum self-sufficiency. Probably the leader. This is Zora. Talk about Beauty and the Beast. She's both. <laughs> a basic pleasure model. The standard item for military clubs in the outer colonies. My god, basic pleasure model. So handsome i remember when i watched star wars i was like damn and then you google him and of course now he's an older man and you're like whoa <laughs> do you reckon that pris is gonna try to seduce him i feel like all of these models are gonna have their own function in the movie <laughs> i'm rachel decker replicants are like any other machine they're either a benefit or a hazard may i ask you a personal question that's quick. Have you ever retired a human by mistake? No. Is this to be an empathy test? Yeah, but that could be interesting, though. Mr. Deckard, Dr. Eldon Terrell. Demonstrate it. I want to see it work on a person. I want to see a negative before I provide you with a positive. What's that going to prove? On you? Try her. <laughs> She's like, uh, what? 
It's your birthday. Someone gives you a calfskin wallet. I wouldn't accept it. I'd report the person who gave it to me to the police. You're watching television. Suddenly you realize there's a wasp crawling on your arm. I'd kill it. Is she in negative? <laughs> You're reading a magazine. You come across a full-page nude photo of a girl. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? Just answer the questions, please. You show it to your husband. He likes it so much, he hangs it on your bedroom wall. I should be in there for him. It just makes you comfortable, too. <laughs> consists of boiled dog. Would you step out for a few moments, Rachel? Oh my god. Also, it's funny that if she would see a naked woman in a magazine, she's like, show it to your husband. <laughs> How many questions does it usually take to spot? 20, 30 cross-reference. It took more than 100 for Rachel, didn't it? She doesn't know. She's beginning to suspect, I think. Suspect? How can it not know what it is? That's scary, too, if they don't know it themselves. Create a cushion or pillow for their emotions, and consequently, we can control them better. Memories. How do you give that to them? It's always that thing of, like, on one side, you want to develop more and more and more. But on the other side, you have the ethical question, which fascinates me so much. Yeah, what are we... Investigation 101 in the 80s. <laughs> oh, that's the leader. Someone was there. Police? Men? The sets are amazing. Not necessary. Oh, okay. You not come here. Illegal. Hey, come back out Close. Close my eyes. Does he already sensitive to this or questions? <laughs> A lot of questions on this side too. And this is for warmth, I assume. Morphology. Longevity in sept dates. I just do eyes. <laughs> I just do eyes. <laughs> it's always that feeling when at your job somebody asks you a question that's totally how do you feel? I'm like, I just do this. <laughs> if only you could see what I've seen with your eyes. I don't know answers. Who does? Tyro. He, he, he knows everything. He, he designed your mind, your brain. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, he does brain. I just do eyes. <laughs> Sebastian, he, he take take you there. Ah, Leon. Uh. Where would we find? Talk quicker, less eyes on his body. <laughs> it makes sense if you're them and you're smart enough and you know that you have an expiry date or a retirement date and that you want to fight that. Like, wouldn't we want to do the same thing? Maybe we are robots. Maybe we've got memories implanted. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I wanted to see you. I don't know why he told you what he did. Talk to him. He wouldn't see me. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This might get messy. If he's gonna like intervene in Tyrell's business in a way that has not been asked of him. I think I'm a replicant, don't you? Look. It's me with my mother. Oh my god. Yeah, and it's not you with your mother. Dun dun dun. You remember the spider that lived in a bush outside your window? It's all the memories they implanted. Implants. Those aren't your memories. They're somebody else's. Honestly, if all my life was a lie and it was implanted, everything with my mother and animals and all of that, just, I don't want to know. <laughs> I feel like sometimes ignorance is bliss. I made a bad joke. You're not a replicant. Go home. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Very believable. It's a shame that they also have the negatives that we have, including like being sad. <laughs> like she's mourning a life that she never lived right now. I'm lost. 
Don't worry, I won't hurt you. What's your name? Chris. Mine's JF Sebastian. I feel like when they say I won't hurt you, you're it's so like sure. You wanna come in? I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Interesting, so he has a lot to do with making them. <gasps> Is it set up? Not so lost. Yeah, you won't hurt me, but I might hurt you. They're toys. My friends are toys. I make them. <laughs> <laughs> I make my own friends. Literally. <laughs> I feel like the light thing in this movie is super interesting. Ooh. Horses are so majestic. That's 45 left. Stop. Oh, what? All right, <laughs> he's on to something. Snake scale by Abdul Ben Hassan. He make this snake. Locally manufactured snake. <laughs> you know what this movie needs? An ostrich. One, no, two. <laughs> this is your work, huh? Who'd you sell it to? Dr. Huey's sister, in for Professor Chinatown. <laughs> That was difficult. Interesting uh, masks. <laughs> we were wearing masks not long after 2019, but not those. <laughs> I'm from the American Federation of Variety Artists. I'm from the uh, Confidential Committee on Moral Abuses. His voice. Have you felt yourself to be exploited in any way? Did you do or, or were you asked to do anything that's lewd or unsavory or lewd not real i think i'd be working in a place like this if i could afford a real snake <gasps> she has a tattoo on her face okay dry me dry me <laughs> oh come on deckard um damn i would feel Ah, uh, I d don't really understand like super busy city life. It's not for me at all. I don't know. Some people are like, yeah, living in the big cities, but oh whoa! Yeah, at least she has a raincoat on. <laughs> whoa! I didn't assume he was actually trying to shoot her. Oh my god! So what did you gain now? I'm a bit confused. Yeah, sir, you have some explanations to do. Moving on like nothing happened. Right, that could you look almost as bad that skin jog left on the sidewalk. I'm <gasps> Whoa. One more to go. Three. There's four. That, that, that skin job you VK at Tyrell Corporation. Oh, Rachel disappeared, vanished. Didn't even know she was a replicant. On the. Oh, she's right there. He's not gonna do anything to her. Or he might, but he doesn't want to. Leon, how old am I? My birthday is April 10, 2017. How long do I live? Four years. So sad, right? It's so short. Whoa! Nothing is worse than having an itch you can never scratch. Oh, I agree. Good talk. <laughs> Time to die. Oh my god, what? <gasps> okay, what a twist! So it's not just replicants wanting to live longer and being against humans. Now it's also the replicants that are blending in so much that I actually don't want to hurt humans. That's interesting. Shakes, I get them bad. Part of the business. I'm not in the business. I am the business. Oh, that's true. Ooh, there's a fort. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, okay. Oh, oh. What if I go north? Would you come after me? Hunt me? Damn, this is so difficult. He just right. saved him. I owe you one. You're still wet everywhere. <laughs> Her eyes are so cool. But somebody would. How many years does she even have left? You know that Voight comp test of yours? Do you ever take that test yourself? What? Deckard. What are we seeing? <laughs> He's really tired. I drop music. I didn't know if I could play. I remember lessons. I don't know if it's me or Terrell's niece. That's so sad. Which memory is your own? Damn. Okay. Um. And wait. And what can she not rely? This is a bit special. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, this makes it so complicated. Damn, these sets are incredible. Everywhere you look, something is going on. Does he want to say something? Yeah, she's made to seduce, right? Oh, really got some nice toys here. Sebastian. How convenient, right? That he was looking for him and she found him. <laughs> I've had some breakfast. Imagine like you guys are in my house. <laughs> Please stop doing this in my house. There's only two of us now. Damn, like what a creepy. Sometimes if you watch these real estate shows and then they show up people's like their house on the inside looks like you're just like uh what the hell what generation are you nexus six ah i knew it there's some of me in you <laughs> i'm so scared like is he not scared i think sebastian therefore i am okay a bit, little bit of cogito ergo sum therein <laughs> if we don't find help soon pris hasn't got long to live we can't allow that Will you help us? We need you, Sebastian. You're our best and only friend. We're so happy you found us. Oh, yikes. What an awkward situation to be in. <laughs> You're our best friend. <laughs> what can I do for you, Sebastian? Clean the Bishop Six check. Nonsense. Just a moment. <laughs> I love how motivated he is by this play. Did he just sacrifice his own queen? Bishop King seven checkmate, I think. You better come up, Sebastian. It's <laughs> You're just leaving him at the door. Oh my god. Sometimes you have that with your cats, right? In the night, and you're like, whoa, laser eyes. I brought a friend. Or don't you have that with your cats and just mine? <laughs> Surprised you didn't come here sooner. It's not an easy thing to meet your maker. What can he do for you? What an ugly rope. Would you like to be modified? I had in mind something a little more radical. What seems to be the problem? Death. I'm quite surprised that he doesn't know that for them it's a big problem, the longevity of their life. You were made as well as we could make you. A light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. And you have burned so very, very brightly, Roy. You're the prodigal son. <laughs> You're quite a prize. Oh, and he's like, but I want to live longer. Oh! 
So for the people who are telling me now that if I look away, I don't know what the movie is about, I think he's crunching his skull. Right? I... It's not that hard to know what's going on. Oh, okay. Killed by your own creation. How symbolic. Yeah, I would be running already. Alright, so I did not expect the movie to go in this direction. I thought like, okay, one by one they fall. One harder than the other, but not that suddenly Tyrell is gone. Body identified with Tyrell. 25 year old male Caucasian. Oh, I died. Okay. Hello? Hi, is JF there? Who is it? Oh, this is Eddie, old friend of JF. What? <laughs> this, that was so random. Is he missing something important? Do you work on that? What's it called? Is that Uncanny Valley? That where if they predict the robot as a human, it gives that creepy vibe because it's lifeless. Like with dolls, for example, that you can't see a soul behind it. Like that thing, that, that's why it's so hard to make it looking real. Of course, there are really humans playing this, so they need to act like super creepy. But I can't believe they went back to his place. Like if you murder someone, would you go reside in their home? And that's so spooky. Oh my god, so he doesn't know which one. Oh man. Smart. Man, I'd be like before the A leão. My God, this is creepy. A leão. Oh, oh, my poor soul. Oh, I've gotten better at this than when I started this channel, but I feel like I'll never be really good at it. What a shocker to come home to. After you also kill two people, it's a lot of death around you. It's uh, special. I thought you were supposed to be good. Show me what you're made of. What the hell? Things are, you're like, okay, you can spook from behind, spook from front, above, but not through the wall. This is for Zora. Okay, it's trying to come on. This is for Chris. I'm gonna give you a few seconds before I come. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, what the f <laughs> Well, he only has four years, at least he's spending them well. Of course, his gun fell down. <clears throat> if you look at this, somebody was living there. Oh my god, this movie really turned very quickly into something that's not really my favorite genre. You better get it up. I'm gonna have to kill you. It would be a great moment to have a gun, wouldn't it? Go to hell, go to heaven. Another one! More! 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 Oh, yikes. Of course. This is really like a House of Horrors type of style. <laughs> Where are you going? I always wonder what it must be like to play such a creepy character and constantly be like... And like the whole... Oh. Are they creeped out if they look at their own thing afterwards or not? <laughs> <sighs> Whoa! Okay! 
To be honest, though, if you're desperate, this seems stupid, but it might actually be the best thing to do because confronting him might have killed him earlier. Where did he get a white dove? Oh my god, somebody take me away. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. Um interesting comparison. <laughs> oh what the f nail Break his knees. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the pigeon alone, like what? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Yeah, I, I don't have any issue believing him. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Oh, that's quite a nice. Time. Sentence and then we immediately go back to creepy. Oh, I get you through, huh? Through. <laughs> it's too bad she won't live. <gasps> Whoa, okay. Okay, okay. Oh. I know. Very interesting, right? The knowing that's not a real human, but still falling in love. So that means that we are at the level where it just feels real enough. Interesting, right? So interesting. It's his dream? What he dreamed about? Oh my god, what is that? Whoa. God damn it, man. Like, is he one? Or is he not one? It's so confusing. Like, I'm constantly like, here's a human. He's not. This was weird. He is one. Like, <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm thinking a million things. I'm so scared to say them because I also think I'm going to look really stupid. But I'm like, there's so many weird things about it. I feel like not per se in his actions, but in the things that people say to him like you've done a man's job like is he not a man is it not usually that men do men's jobs or why didn't he kill him i mean the replicant him <sighs> i feel like at the ending of the thing where i'm like <laughs> and you know what i'm scared for if i'm now gonna like look up google and then notice that the answer is super clear for everybody else but i have to say with the thing a few, like people were super convinced of their own opinion and a lot of people disagreed on one another so it was like hmm so i kind of hoping that this is the same with this one i think i would guess that he is but i would hope that he's not but maybe i would hope that he is because if he goes away with his girl and she's gonna die soon then hopefully he will die soon with her or something and then not okay <laughs> Let me know in the comments what it is or which one do you think it is or, or clues or no clues or am I dreaming now? Like I maybe I'm a replicant. <laughs> anyway, I think the movie was very interesting. I love the storyline. Yeah, I just really like those where you make robots and they look awfully human and then get human feelings, but then they aren't human. So it's like what? At one point, like, what distinguishes you? If they feel the same way, if they have real memories, if they can connect. Scary, 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 scary. And I feel like it was really well done with the sets. Were so good. I feel like you really felt like you lived in a different world. Maybe not 2019, but it was very well done. I feel like many times I was looking around and everywhere something was going on and with the light, light play and stuff very nice movie and another question is do you want me to see the follow-up yes or no let me know in the comments if you like it make sure to like and subscribe and as always full reactions you can find over on patreon where i post full reactions i get worse and worse at this but anyway thank you for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next one bye